Good morning, everyone. What are we doing today, babe? Moving. We're moving. Moving so, on up to, to downtown. So we got clearance from the builder to go ahead and move everything in. Um, since we have a, our final inspection came back and we're good to go. We haven't actually closed on the loan, but we'll do that this week. So I guess our, you could say we're going to the west side. West side is the best side. No, that's we're still in South Mesquite though. This is east and then be west. Moving northwest. Okay, so uh, Marvin the has the truck loaded. I've got my car loaded. Now I'm about to go get breakfast burritos for us. And he wants bacon and egg, even though it's not on the menu. He says I'll make it for him, so we shall see. It's already made. Okay, whatever. Okay. Okay. Probably out by now. <sighs> well, I was waiting on you. All right, so let's go. Let me go get those breakfast burritos before they sell out. Okay, so I'm at a bakery, and I feel like I'm like literally getting fatter, just like smelling all the goodness. So, good. so many good things. I have conchas here. Those are the the ones right here. They look like shells, and so that's why they're called conchas. And they all have names, but I don't know all the names, but I just know they're good. So I'm inside the Corner Theater now, and that's where they have Bear Cave Coffee. I am getting a hot chocolate because you guys know I don't like coffee. But there's plenty of place to sit here and relax. There's already some people over there. And um, they have a new bar thing. Looks really fancy smancy. And that goes inside to the theater, but nothing happening today. I have moved out of the go to floor and decor, go to Lowe's everyday phase of the build process. I'm now in the go to bed, bath, and beyond everyday phase of the process. Not every day, but almost every day. I'm at Tum Thumb now, and I'm getting stuff for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, chips, and maybe some dip, get some milk, and whatever else catches my eye before I get out of here. I've got my car loaded up and ready to go. So been packing and moving all day. I'm at home now and Captain is here helping me. And I'm just about to get started with scheduling some posts for Air Force Swing Moms. We've had a long day. Um, oh, hold on just a second. Excuse me, I sneezed. So, we've had a pretty long day today, although it's not like we got up super early or anything like that, but Marvin has hung up all the blinds except for one. The one that's uh, towards the patio door, the one that goes to the patio door. He hasn't hung that one up yet because he, it has to be adjusted or cut or something. Not entirely sure. I think that's what he said. I put that contact paper. It's not contact paper. Back in the day, we used to put contact paper down. But I guess people still do that. I, I, I wasn't putting that down. But it's like a rubbery mat, like a rubbery material that you lay down and it says contact paper on it so i don't know if it's by the same people or something so i usually put that down and then i put down my plates on top of it or something just to kind of protect the cabinets but no real reason why i guess just it's just what i do anyway so i put that down today uh in just four drawers five drawers and i put away the brought two loads to the house and got those put away. I actually did a load of laundry at the house. So I'm like, hey, I'm a laundry person now. I have done laundry in the new house, in the new washer and dryer. And speaking of which, Pito, our next door neighbor, is buying our current washer and dryer. So Marvin is helping him take it over there now. He's just right next door. It's not too far that they have to go. So we're gonna miss that guy. He's been a really, really good neighbor. You know, has sometimes, when you have neighbors and you're like, okay, yeah, I can't wait to move. <laughs> but um, this guy, he's been he's been super nice, him and his family. They're from Puerto Rico. So um, Marvin hung up blinds. I did laundry. I did um, some dishes because I brought some dishes from home and I rinsed them off and stuff. Put some stuff away in the pantry. I went and got us some lunch at Tom Thumb. I got us stuff for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So that was yummy, actually. This morning I had gone to that little bakery where I showed you guys. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I love sweet bread. I love it. So I bought an extra one because 
uh, I want it for breakfast tomorrow. And now my allergies are acting up a little bit because now I'm home with the cats and I am allergic to cats, but I still, I like my cats and I'm not giving them away. It's just something I deal with. It's fine. It'll be fine. Now, um, I've got a pile of the warranty stuff that, you know, you've got to like file the warranty to keep it warranted. So I'm doing that. And the reason I do that is because, hold on, I feel like I'm going to sneeze again. The reason that I do that is because we had a, it was either Moen or um, Fister. I don't know, remember. Anyway, the kitchen faucet. And when it messed up, they just sent us out a new one. I was like, okay, thank you. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm making sure that all of our stuff has the warranty registered. And I am slowly starting to change over our address. I'm going to go put in the change of address on Monday and get it officially changed over. So lots to do. It's going to be a super busy week. We are now expected to close probably Thursday or Friday. Marvin's got to call the investment advisor to... Oh! I did not tell you guys. I don't think I told you guys. If I told you guys, here's a repeat story. So yesterday, you know how I was just like giving it over to God? I'm like, look, you know what we need the appraisal to be at. You know how much money we have in the bank. You know how far we've come. So, and I told you guys yesterday, pretty sure I told you guys this, that I know for sure... God didn't bring us this far just to bring us this far and then go, oh, okay, peace, see you later. So I knew he would work it out. I knew he would. But sometimes when you're in the midst of all that, you get caught up and kind of overwhelmed with it. So I just had to put on some more music and just kind of like just, just meditate and pray and think about it. And it all worked out. So she called us. Now, it still came in low. But it was a workable low versus a, oh my gosh, I don't know what we're going to do. So we had to recalculate some numbers. We're going to have to move some money over from an investment into another account to make this all work. But it's going to work. So Marvin's going to call tomorrow or Monday morning first thing to get money transferred over. And I think we're going to be able to close like Thursday or Friday. Maybe sooner, but, but by Thursday or Friday. Now, we still need the gas fireplace thing fixed we still there's that overspray on the master bath which is my side but anyway the master side master bath ca uh, bank of drawers it has like overspray or something on it so that has to be fixed oh he's putting a door pull on the uh, barn door and something else barn door Oh, and the cabinet, the cabinet door that's missing in the kitchen. So that's going to be taken care of. And then it's ours. And the only other thing, like, there's a couple floodlights out. I'm not sure if they were out before or if they're out now. I don't know. I'm just going to ask Tommy about that. And then, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be our house. So we've already signed on this house. So technically we're tenants. And the gal was like, the, the agent. She was like, oh, okay, so the lady that owns the house now, weird to say that, the lady that owns the house wants to do like a walkthrough with you guys when you're about to move out. And uh, I was like, okay. So um, we actually didn't do a walkthrough with her before, but whatever. Um, she wants to just us to kind of cover how things work and just, you know, how like there might be little nuances to getting this to work or how this works or that works or whatever. So we are going to do walk through with her and um hopefully it'll be clean by then because the cleaning lady is supposed to come i think sunday or monday morning i'll have to double check so and then we're done that's it so i have a lot to do tonight and we are a little bit tired marvin's really tired because he was up and down on the ladder doing those blinds and holding them up and Oh my gosh, I'm sure he's just exhausted. So when he's helping Pito move the washer dryer, and then I told him after that, I want you to take a shower and maybe soak in the tub, and let's just, just chill. I've got, thankfully, when I left, when I came back this afternoon, like at noon or whatever, I had started the chicken with the vegetables in the crock pot, so we'll have like kind of like chicken soup. It'll be ready in about an hour. 
so we don't have to worry about eating fast food or junk food it's going to be just a home-cooked meal and we can relax and maybe watch some tv and go to bed early because we're tired and tomorrow's going to be a big big day because we're going to our goal is to completely clean out the garage and we've got to do it we also want to get the bed moved but definitely we want to get the garage just completely cleaned out just done and that way the rest of this week monday through thursday or whatever we'll just be worried about getting this furniture here which is really not that big of a deal but yes the garage completely cleaned out if you saw it right now mm, y'all pray for me y'all pray for me okay i'm rambling and i've been talking for almost eight minutes now or something a long time and i've got other things to do so i'm gonna let you guys go for now thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned because coming soon once i get moved in and things kind of put in their place because you know how like when you move to a new place i don't know if this happens to you i'm just assuming it's happening to me because that's what's happening to me right now so in this house here we have like oh the utensils go here and the pot holders go there and the cookbooks go here and you have like a spot for place and a place for things um but in this new house it's like i have some similar drawers like in the same spot so i'm like okay i'll put my pot holders there for example or i'll put the silverware there but then we also have different like drawers and cabinets i'm like I don't know what to put. I don't know what I'm going to put there. Like, I guess I can maybe move this. Does it make more sense? I try to design my kitchen um, with the functionality in mind. Like, I try to put the plates and the cups and the silverware all in one spot. And I try to, I mean, ideally it would have been right next to the dishwasher, but that's not how the dishwasher is in the island. And then um, I try to put anyway i just trying to put like like things together like that i'm trying to put all the cat stuff in this one drawer this one cabinet over here so it's just all in one spot and you know exactly where to find cat stuff and i'm in the pantry i'm trying to put all the vegetables right here i'm trying to put the other stuff right here the baking stuff right here so anyway that's what i'm trying to do i don't know if you guys do it but i can already tell i'm gonna probably move some stuff around because the way that it was in, in this cabinets okay the reason i'm bringing this up is because now I'm Oh my gosh, I'm rambling. But the plates in this cabinet, I was like, they were over in this cabinet drawer. But I think in this house, I'm going to put them in this cabinet drawer. Anyway, who cares? It doesn't really doesn't matter. But that's what I'm thinking about. And so, like, I don't know if that happened to you guys or if you guys have moved very much or not. But that's what's happening to me. Like, oh, where am I going to put this? Am I going to move it? Does it make sense to put it there? No, it really makes some more sense to put it over here. Blah, blah, blah. I'm still rambling. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.